What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews and today we're going to do LXT or 18 volt versus 40 volt XGT tools in front of you. Alright, so what I've got here is I've got the drill, impact, and reciprocating saw options from both LXT and XGT. Now of course in LXT there are plenty of options to choose from, so what I did was I chose whatever model I think closest matches the current XGT tools that are available in the United States, and also match the most similar battery packs that you'd probably get in a kit, or just kind of the most common ones that you would use with the tool to whatever the tool actually is. So let's start off with the drills, and I'm going to compare just the facts for these tools, and I'll leave any subjectiveness to the end of the video if you want to check out my thoughts on that. But let's just cover the weight, size, and then speed of these tools right now. All right, so we got the Makita. This is the XPH14. This is the 18-volt LXT. And I've got the XGT. This is the GPH01. I've got a 5-amp hour battery on the 18-volt version, and I've got a 2.5-amp hour on the 40-volt version. That's as apples as apples as you are going to get with these two tools. So let's check out the weight of these two tools starting with the newer XGT tool. We're going to be at 5 pounds, 6.3 ounces. We're going to be at 5 pounds, 4.2 ounces. So about 2 more ounces heavier is going to be your XGT model. Not really bad there at all. All right, moving on to impact drivers now. So the current model in the United States is going to be the GTD01. And I picked the XDT16. I know this is not the latest model. The latest model you can pick up right now is the XDT19, which is right here. However, though, from looking at the shells on these, they compare very, very similarly. And also, the XDT16 is slightly more powerful than the 19, so I figured this would be a better matchup for the current generation XGT tool. And our weight's going to be 3 pounds, 15 ounces for the XGT tool with a 2.5 amp hour battery. And I got a 5 amp hour battery on the XDT16. We are going to be 3.81 pounds there. So yeah, the XGT tool is going to be, you know, a couple more ounces than, of course, the LXT tool. Of course, that's to be expected. It's just a slightly bigger tool there. All right, for reciprocating saws, I've got the, for the 18 volt version, I've got the XRJ05, and I've got a 5 amp hour battery on there. For the 40 volt version, I've got the J GRJ02. This is kind of the more current model right now. The, the uh, JR01 is kind of outgoing right now, and this is going to be your latest model from each of the 18 volt and 40 volt lines that you can perhaps possibly pick up right now. I do have the 4 amp hour battery on the on the XGT version as that is the battery that comes with the kits in all of the kits for whatever reciprocating saw you're picking up. That's the most common you use battery for that saw. Right, we're looking at about 8 pounds 9 ounces there for the 18 volt version. And we're looking at about 10 pounds 15 15-ish ounces there for the 40 volt version. Of course, that's to be expected with the larger battery on there. This also has orbital action, and it's quite a bit beefier overall as a tool. So definitely going to be quite more heavy than the 18 volt version. All right, starting with the drills, let's compare size here quickly. So the XGT drill is ever so slightly taller than the LXT drill here, which is on the left. Um, it's not a huge amount. I would say it's maybe... Maybe a little more than a quarter inch at most there. If we look at length, they're pretty much exactly the same. Maybe with the XGT being ever so slightly longer, maybe like a sixteenth, maybe an eighth of an inch longer. Really not a big difference there at all. I have not really noticed a difference between these two drills between using them both. Um, you might notice a little bit of size on the XGT just slightly, but it's really not that big of a deal. And between these two tools, I have not noticed anything really different at all. All right, moving on to the impact drivers here. Again, just like the drills, we're going to have a slightly higher um, on the XGT. I would say it's going to be just a little bit under a quarter of an inch there. It's really not a huge difference there at all. Now, length here, you can definitely see that there is a decent amount of length here on the XGT. I would say it's just around a quarter of an inch, probably just slightly more than a quarter of an inch here slightly longer than the LXT version. Um, between using these two tools, there really is not much of a difference, just like the drills. Um, even power-wise, from what I've noticed, it's not huge either. Um, but just be aware that it is going to be slightly larger going to XGT. All right, if you count the shoe on these two tools, they're almost exactly the same length before you count the battery. That extra size on the battery there right here does add about a full inch of uh, length there. I wish they kind of swapped the battery around to the front would be kind of nice there to kind of pull that length in. But just be aware that adding the battery onto the XGT tool does add quite a bit of length to that tool compared to the LXT version. 
You'll also, of course, notice that the XGT version is quite a bit just chunkier than the LXT version as well. That's probably one of the biggest things that I've noticed between these two tools is just how chunky the XGT versions are, really, compared to the LXT versions. All right, I'm going to use both drills in their highest speed. If they can't make it, I'll switch into the lower speed. Got both fully charged batteries on both drills. And we're going to be using a Diablo inch and a half inch spade bit here and see how far we can get down in these. I'm going to do at least two holes per drill and let's see which one's better. All right, we're going to do a nice big lag bolt here. I'm going to start with the LXT 18 volt version first. I don't necessarily expect these impact drivers to finish this, but we can very quickly see which one has more power. So let's go. All right, again, I got some fresh Diablo blades on both of the reciprocating saws. I'm going to start with the 18 volt one first. Of course, we're going to be in speed two or whatever the highest speed is on each one. I'm going to make a few cuts and we'll see which one's faster. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed some of those tests that we did. Now, I will say between all of these tools, some of the biggest differences you're going to find are going to be one price is going to be your biggest difference between a lot of these tools. Um, I will say I picked up the drill and impact the XGT for about $222 with two batteries and a charger. I hit to pick up that kit from Home Depot. Um, of course, you wait for the right deals. You know, when you got that $100 off, maybe a free battery, you can, of course, you know, return the free item and they call it, you know, the hack where you can, of course, get a bit lower pricing there. And I will say a lot of the LXT tools you see behind me, I bought, you know, on eBay or at the holiday sale. So I also got a pretty good deal on those tools as well. So depending on when you buy the tools also affect kind of your pricing and whether or not you wait for a deal or not. Um, of course, the XGT tools are going to be, of course, right now, historically a lot pricier than LXT tools because A, they haven't been on the market very long, and B, there's just not many of them out there, so there's not really a used market at all for them at all right now. So that's kind of the unfortunate thing right now. However, though, I will say the biggest place I've seen XGT tools shine is going to be in all the X, like, um, outdoor tools right now. So like blowers, chainsaws, reciprocating saws for me have been a big difference. Um, for my business, and I do some demolition, I do junk removal, I notice a massive difference going to XGT tools. For some jobs that I may take, you know, two, three batteries on this LXT tool, I can then go with maybe one battery on the XGT tool and be just fine. It's pretty cool not to be able to do that. Um, I haven't really noticed a big difference in drills and impacts too much. I will say I do notice a little more weight, a little more size in those tools for not a whole lot more power. I will say if you're doing a lot of, you know, larger drilling, you will notice a difference with the drill. But if you're just using a lot of, you know, just smaller holes, pilot holes kind of thing, I'd say just go 18 volt is my kind of two cents there. But of course, you're trying to compare, you know, maybe like DeWalt Flex Volt versus their 20 volt line, maybe Tabo HPT's Multi Volt versus their regular 18 volt line. Um, there's gonna be a lot of, you know, a lot of new stuff out there happening right now. Um, you can kind of take this video as kind of like with a grain of salt to kind of compare some of those other brands too. If you want to go for the bigger, you know, voltage, bigger batteries, you're going to, of course, pay more, have more weight, have more size, but your runtime should likely increase somewhat. Now, I can't really do a video on runtime. It's kind of subjective, you know, basically on heat, you know, keeping everything exact. It's kind of hard to test runtime of power tools, but I can confirm that I have seen a bit, more, bit better runtime with XGT tools. Some tools I've seen almost twice the runtime with the same batteries compared to the LXT 18 volt tools. Um, other tools I haven't really seen a massive difference too much. Things like blowers, you really don't see a huge difference in too much. You might get maybe 10, 20% more runtime, and that's about it. Because of course, these tools are trying to put out more power, but at the same time have better runtime. So you're gonna sacrifice one or the other. And in most cases, they kind of sacrifice slightly both to kind of balance them both out between the two. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you guys you know, have any questions. And I hope this helps you guys pick if you're trying to go from 18 volt or you're trying to buy new tools entirely, should you go 18 volt or 40 volt. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care and have a great day.